friends, I am Mahin Arsalan and you are watching Kids Learning Channel. The Magic Porridge Pot a Story for Children A girl named Melody used to live with her mother. They were very poor. To make her mother smile, Melody used to sing songs to her in the morning and evening. Her mother said to her, Melody, what would happen to me if you wouldn't sing for me? Your singing makes me happy, my child. I know, mother. I am very hungry. I wish we could fill our bellies with music, replied Melody. Melody's mother started crying. Mother, don't cry. I'll go and find us something to eat, she assured her mother. Melody wandered into the forest in search of food while singing a beautiful song. An old witch heard her voice and rushed to see her. Oh, you frightened me, said Melody. I am sorry, my dear. I just wanted to find out the person who has such a magnificent voice replied the kind witch thank you i hope your work was not interrupted by my singing melody said lowering her head while her cheeks turned pink not at all your voice is like a precious gift what can i do to reward you for your singing asked the witch a uh, uh, reward Melody was astonished. Yes, anything you had like to have, but only if you will come back and sing for me again, said the witch. Melody explained to the witch about their poor living situation and how they had nothing to eat. Hmm, here, said the witch and a small black pot appeared in Melody's hand. But what good is an empty pot if we don't have any food to cook in it? replied Melody. <laughs> it's a magical pot, said the witch. Huh? Magical pot? asked Melody. Yes. Take it to your home, put it on the stove, and then say, Little pot cook, explained the witch. The pot will surprise you with some sweet porridge. Uh, how will the pot stop cooking? asked Melody. All you have to do is say, Little pot stop, and it will stop cooking, said the witch. Oh, Melody was so happy. Don't forget to come and sing for me tomorrow, the witch reminded Melody. Uh, I won't, Melody replied and rushed back home holding the magical pot tightly in her hand. Melody and her mother now ate their fill of sweet porridge every day and then Melody would go to the forest to sing a song for the witch. But one day, Melody left to sing to the witch while the porridge was still cooking. Before leaving, she said to her mother, Don't forget what to say. But her mother shooed Melody away and thought that her daughter was treating her like a fool. The pot kept cooking the porridge. Quiet, said Melody's mother to stop the pot from cooking more porridge. But the pot didn't stop. Knock it off, tried Melody's mother again. But the pot didn't stop cooking and the porridge split over the stove and onto the floor. Uh, 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 enough! shouted Melody's mother. 
She tried everything to make the magic pot stop cooking, but it was useless. Soon the entire cottage was filled with hot and sweet porridge. It started spilling out of the window and it soon swelled the streets. It started filling cottage after cottage while the people tried to escape. People were screaming as the hot porridge was burning their skin. By the time Melody returned, the whole village was covered in hot and sweet porridge. Aha! Uh -huh, little pot stop! yelled Melody and the pot stopped cooking porridge. And then Melody's mother never again forgot the magical words. So the moral of the story is the magic porridge pot teaches us that we should be happy with what we have and not always want more. It's important to appreciate what we have and not wish for too much because sometimes it can lead to problems. I hope you like and enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Take care. Bye-bye. Allah Hafiz.